Hello everybody. Today I will teach you how to create outlines. First of all, we need to understand what is outline. Outline meaning if you have a particular text written in Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, for example, let me just write something. How to create outlines. I'm going to make this text big so we can see it. One S. How to create outlines. The reason we need to create outlines is for example if you've done some work on Adobe Illustrator and then you save it as PDF and you send it to printers. And if printers does not have a particular font, let's say you've done this work in this font called, um, let's select the font, Arial. You've done this work in Adobe Photoshop and your font is Arial and you save this work as PDF or maybe whichever format and you send it to printers and if they open this work and if they do not have this font then you won't be able they won't be able to print exactly as it shows on your graphics so if you want them to see how it's written here without having this font then you need to create outlines right so what does outline do outline converts the actual text into an object so outline changes text into an object once outline is done then you can not edit any text for example I'll show you I'm going to put that in the center so you right and click on it and then create outlines or press shift control and letter O to this is a shortcut to create outlines O stands for outlines or you go into type and there will be an option somewhere create outlines and again it shows you the shortcut shift control and O so what will happen when we create outline as you can see when I double click on how I can change this yeah but once I create outline then I cannot make changes to this can you see it's become an object now so this this no longer is a text it's converted into a little art and then obviously you can't once you create outline then it, it converts into so many different different objects you can ungroup that by clicking on object and ungroup so all text all the letters will become individual now another problem is once you've created outlines and then you want to make changes or maybe just say you wanted to add S at the end which you cannot type in anymore and if you change the text and try and put S you may not be able to find uh, not, you, if you don't have the font you may not be able to replace so what you can do is click on S and drag it and place it by controlling Alt key so it will duplicate this s it will create another copy as you can see this one's gone down the line 
so I'm gonna shift it up until the guidelines gives you indication where to place that it's still a bit down so I'm gonna push it up a bit there we go so it's on top line and bottom line is nicely in the uh, outlined sorry not outline it's nicely placed so this is the way to create outlines in your artwork and you can change colors for example if you want to put all the alls in red you can do that there we go and then um, like I showed you about global colors in my another video so um, I can create a global color for all the letters all the alls that's pretty much all of it so if I create a global color uh, I need to add a color once I need to create a group and then once I create the group I can add a color then make it a global color so all the O's can you see whichever color I select is changing into that particular color so global color outline so if I change this color all the O's will change automatically because it's a global color let me add it to preview so we can see there we go let's keep it to red so we can see more clearer this is how I create outlines right okay uh, I'm gonna color that and then I'm gonna put a little border around because I'm going to create a thumbnail to put it on this video so I'm gonna make that a bit thicker and I'm going to bring an outline tool outline where is it so create outline it won't show but I will bring the object menu and then uh, sorry edit text type type and create outlines but because there's no text it's not gonna let me do it so I just have to let it be then I'm gonna save this video thank you for watching guys goodbye and I'll teach you more stuff in my next video which I will be releasing soon thank you for watching you take care goodbye everybody